Now, it's important we track these daily numbers, not just to show you what we're doing in our state, but so we know how this virus is impacting lives. Allison Croft is back with us now. And Allison, there's lots of cases of people seeing health impacts long after they've been diagnosed with COVID-19. Yeah, there are cases all over the country of people, even those who are asymptomatic, developing a condition they've never had before. This is Sean Spring. She says she had symptoms in February, but was diagnosed with coronavirus in March. She says it started slow, but got worse and was the most painful experience of her life. She said her face was swollen and she was coughing horribly. She says ever since then, she has had brain, lung and heart issues. It's rare now to, to breathe normally for longer than an hour or so at a time. Um, yeah, it, it hurts. It hurts to breathe. Uh, my heart, I mean, it's just not beating right. But we do know that there those are just the kinds of issues that I talked with Dr. Wolfson at USF about today. He says there is very good evidence that some people who have recovered from COVID-19 are developing new cardiovascular, lung, kidney, and brain disease. The virus is causing cellular damage that in some cases will be permanent. There's lots and lots of cases of people with breathing disorders, um, coughing, uh, respiratory scarring in their lungs, um, uh, scarring in their hearts. This, this virus attacks organs. He says that's why we need to be incredibly vigilant about continuing to social distance, wearing a mask, washing our hands, and not just for others, but for ourselves as well.